I'm an ecologist and I've been trying to understand the effect of various human activities on the natural world and uh, back in 1963 I discovered along with two other colleagues acid rain in North America. The uh, first sample that we collected in July of 1963 had uh, an acidity that was about a hundred times more acid than we expected it to be, although we really didn't know what to expect at that time because there wasn't good reference information uh, to judge. Um, and so that was our first clue that the precipitation was much more acidic than uh, we thought it should be. And it took us a long time to understand and study about where it was coming from, what, how long it had been there, and what could be done about it. Well, acid rain in different parts of the world has a different effect. So in the United States in 1990, we passed the Clean Air Act, uh, which was focused amendments, which were focused uh, specifically on reducing acid rain in our country. But in Southeast Asia, uh, where pollution is increasing, their acid rain is going to increase even more than it is currently. So it's different in different places. We have reduced the acidity of our rainfall um, in the eastern United States uh, very significantly, where I work by about 80% since 1963. But in that time period, the acidity has reduced the buffering capacity of soils, and that has had an effect on uh, forest growth and forest mortality so that if we were to increase the acidity or increase the emissions that cause the acidity, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen uh, oxides, then those soils in those sensitive reasons, regions could be very drastically uh, uh, damaged. Well, in general, I think there's a lot more work to do. We have uh, increased uh, pollution, increased population of humans that are uh, using the environment, using our resources in many ways. And so I think it's very important that, uh, that we aggressively try to deal with uh, pollutants, reduce them where we can, and understand how they affect the environment and reduce those impacts wherever possible.